Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, I'm going to be putting this It Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer Oil Free 50 Plus Sunscreen Foundation to the test. And I recently just got this. I know that they do have the regular Bye Bye Foundation. This is just the full coverage one. So I do have this. This is in the shade medium. I have the oil free, the matte one in the shade light medium. So I do have a, both of these. And truthfully, I was kind of torn up this morning about what I wanted to sort of compare this to. I also have the It Your Skin But Better CC Oil Free Matte uh, Full Coverage uh, CC cream so I do have this one right here and I think I want to put these two to the test if you guys actually want to see a different video me um, sort of comparing the regular full coverage foundation uh, moisturizer to the matte one then definitely let me know I could do that for you guys but I feel like for us oily skinned guys and girls out there I want to compare the two matte products that they have so these are the only two matte products that they have I know they also do have their own um, primer that I use uh, they also do have their powder that like I'm obsessed with so it does have some products that are geared towards us oily skinned people but these are the only two like oil free matte foundation slash CC creams I know I really really do like this but I definitely want to see how it compares to this one and I want to see if one's a little bit more matte just how it basically looks because I feel like even though this is a CC cream this is like super full coverage like I or not super full coverage but like very full coverage so I want to see the difference between the two of these and I want to show you guys if one is a little bit more matte I'm going to use the same primers and all that stuff on my base but I think this is what I want to do today again if you guys do want to see a comparison between the matte uh, foundation and then just the regular foundation and let me know I could definitely do that for you guys so like I said I have this one in the shade light medium and then I also have the oil free CC cream in the shade medium tan I think that's gonna be a little too uh tan for me truthfully so I do have my LA girl pro color mixing foundation pigment I actually really do like this it doesn't interfere with like how matte it is it just makes it a lot lighter which I really really appreciate so I think that's what I'm gonna have to uh, use today because y'all could see I am pretty pale right now but before we jump into that portion of the video, I just want to ask you guys if you do like what you see throughout the video please consider giving this video a thumbs up and also please do not forget to subscribe before you go if you have not already and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So one thing that I always, always, always have to do, no matter what, is I do have to use my primer water. So right now I'm just using the Spa Scription one. This is the Glacier Water, water Facial Mist. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. Brows are already done. So let me tell you the claims on this foundation. Okay, so this foundation retails for $39, and it does have 12 color options, which really isn't like the best but they do range from light to deep um I do feel like it cosmetics could definitely increase its color range so basically this is a oil free full coverage moisturizer with SPF 50 physical sunscreen feels like nothing but covers everything with a beautiful matte finish it is created to cover and press the look of skin concerns including redness pores breakouts uh, lines and wrinkles it has 3d flex technology which provides flexible pure color pigment that floats over lines and wrinkles without creasing or cracking and it is infused with hyaluronic acid chamomile plus a mattifying lava and collodial clay basically they are saying you want to use one to two pumps of this with your favorite brush fingertips I think I like to use this with a sponge so that's what we're gonna go ahead and use today let me tell you guys the claims of the CC oil free matte. Why don't I even see this on Ulta's website? Hold on, let me see. I can only see that one on Sephora's website, which is odd. I don't know if Ulta doesn't carry this, but this is a full coverage color correcting cream now oil free. It has SPF 40 and it, you can stay matte up to 12 hours with this. And this helps with pores, dryness, uneven uh, skin tone. So well, let's go ahead and prime up the skin for primer. I'm going to use one of my favorites. You guys know Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer. And you guys can see I'm basically like 
done with this i use this so much i love it i'm gonna apply this all over my face i have to like squeeze it like really hard for it to come out uh i have to order another one i know i do have a travel one but i'm gonna be traveling this summer so i should probably pick up another one of these one struggle that i have been dealing with the past few weeks like my allergies and like foundation just coming right off my nose it is so darn annoying um and now i'm going in with the elf poreless putty primer i love 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 this this is basically on par with my tarte timeless that i obsess with so first i kind of like rub it in and then i really pack that on there then i also do apply some to the perimeters of my face and that is just because i have some texture today we're going to be keeping makeup like super light i'm basically going to be staying in all day because if you guys don't know coronavirus is like everywhere now um i do live in jersey and it's really scary um so i'm going to be working from home this week um just taking like extra safety precautions like really not going out kind of just staying in which is really difficult because it's so so nice here in jersey right now but i definitely do want to stay indoors really don't want to go out unless i have to um so yeah that is basically why i'm going to be inside i'm going to be working on a side project that i can't tell you guys yet about and then i'm also going to be uh, editing more videos and stuff like that so yeah fun stuff okay guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm first just gonna start off with the regular one so i can kind of remember how this feels on my skin truthfully i don't remember how it feels or anything like that because i haven't used this in a really long time i usually opt for using this in the summer but i'm just gonna put some on my little palette so it definitely does have like a mousse consistency if you guys could see it definitely looks like very moussey i think i'm going to do this side of my face the original one let's see i feel like this might be a little too dark so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this is just a beauty blender like original beauty blender so i'm just going to pounce this in yeah, this is definitely super tan. It doesn't look that way on the viewfinder, but in person it definitely looks tan. So it definitely feels extremely moussey. Pretty good coverage. Like I feel like it definitely did cover up that redness that I had going on from like blowing my nose all the time. They're very easy to like blend out. Like that was super, super quick to blend everything out. I feel like it looks really, really good. It feels super, super lightweight. It does have like a tiny bit of like a sheen to it. Like it doesn't look like super, super matte. I'm hoping you guys are gonna be able to pick that up. It doesn't look like super, super matte. Okay, so I brought down the light a little bit so you guys are gonna be able to really see how it looks. So again, not my color right now, but it looks pretty good. Like my pores look really good, but again, I think that's more so the e.l.f. primer. But overall, it looks really good. It really did cover everything up. So far, no like sticking to any like lines or anything like that. It did a really good job at blending everything out. And it was super, super easy to blend everything out. Now, let's go in with the Itch by Bow Foundation. This is the matte version, the new version. Again, this is in the shade Light Medium. Let's see. This is the packaging for this compared to the CC Cream. So, you guys could see the CC Cream is full-blown like... I guess you could call that like blue teal versus this one it just says have that teal uh, strip on it i guess they're trying to do so like if it is more matte uh then it does have that teal option okay so this one is not as moussey i feel like it still is but i feel like the other one which is a little bit more moussey that is this one right here sorry i don't want to blind you guys but i want you guys to be able to see the difference so this one is definitely like thick this regular uh cc cream is definitely a lot thicker um and then let's just ignore the color but basically i feel like it's a little bit more on um the less thick side and one thing that i really do like about it cosmetics is that their products do have like skin benefits i did pump about the same amount and i'm gonna go in with a new sponge this is i believe either from ulta or it is from beaky beauty but let's go ahead and blend that out this side i feel like i have more to cover up as far as like acne first off color is like bomb this color definitely does match me a lot better you guys are even going to be able to tell that difference i feel like this one definitely does feel a little heavier on the skin it looks like 
more lightweight and I feel like I'm getting a little bit less coverage because like you could still see some of that redness and like acne peeking through I want to build that up just a tiny bit right over here I mean it did blend out beautifully truthfully like they both kind of look the same like minus the color I feel like they look very very similar I guess the only difference is I feel like this CC cream gives me a little bit more coverage than this one like this I can still kind of see some things poking through which is actually really really surprising because I thought that the foundation would have more coverage than the CC cream but I feel like it's just a tiny bit less if that makes any sense but let me go ahead and put on some concealer I want to show you guys how things blend out what I'm going to do is just go in with the Pat McGrath Labs concealer and just conceal these bad boys I usually don't do this when I am trying new foundations but because I do have a little bit of a different color going on I want to make sure everything at least looks sort of similar they both look really good i feel like this concealer layers a little bit better under the foundation i feel like on the it cc cream side it looks a little heavy and now let's go ahead and powder up the rest of my face to do that i'm just going to go in with the collab powder i have used this before really really do like this and even though it is matte i always do have to set the rest of my face because i am like an extremely oily person and do you guys feel the same way like if you're really really oily do you still have to set everything even though it says matte that's just like how I am people that don't have to set and then can just like be one and done I'm like oh you're so lucky no I have to like bathe myself in powder I feel like the color is looking like kind of the same right now on both sides there really is no like right now big difference between the two different products they both I feel like are giving me the same sort of coverage right now it is looking a little bit more heavy on this side I don't know if it's because of that mousse consistency that it looks a little bit more heavy, but it is looking a little bit more heavy on the It CC Cream side versus the foundation side. The foundation side definitely looks like full coverage, but not heavy. This side's looking a little bit more heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back when I'm done, guys. Let me just call in check-in time. Check-in time is 12.28, so let's call it 12.30, and... I'll be right back guys. Hey everyone, I am back. It is now 12.38. I just did like a really, really simple glam moment. I'll tell you guys what I used. So for bronzer in the crease, I just used the Lawless Summer Skin Velvet Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Golden Hour. Threw that in the crease and then I also used this as a bronzer. I did use the Super Goo Golden Hour uh, cream eyeshadow and I just threw that right on the lid um, I did use the Jouer blush palette I love this blush palette it is so darn good um, I used the shades know me and kiss me so these two really pretty pink shades um, and then I also did use the lunar beauty Greek goddess highlighting palette this is such a good highlighting palette oh my gosh the colors are like bomb so pigmented so I did use the shades siren and medusa so these two shades right over here um and then I also did use the Hank and Henry mascara for my lower lashes and then my um upper lashes I did use the L'Oreal this is the lash paradise mascara I really really like this this and the Maybelline ones oh my god they are now like my absolute favorite favorite they are so darn good I did set my brows with the makeup revolution this is the brow gel this is like the cannabis sativa one um that is what that looks like do not mind my nails the waterline I did put on the ColourPop green cream gel liner this is in the shade honey dude and then for lipstick um i already did have the lip sleeping mask on i didn't wipe that off i only had a little bit left so right on top i did just use the house laboratories this is the matte lip crayon this is in the shade dust this is just such a pretty like everyday sort of color i'm like obsessed with it uh yeah that's basically everything that i used off camera i feel like the color is definitely um matching a lot more 
more now that the rest of my face kind of matches. It looks really, really good. But so far, I feel like they both look really good good let me turn on this light so i can really see yeah i feel like the coverage kind of looks the same on both sides again this cc cream side definitely looks a lot more heavy than the foundation side i'll show you guys in one sec um but yeah everything else kind of looks the same as of right now so let me go ahead and show you guys up close so you could really see how this looks all right we are up close and personal so i just want to show you guys this is the cc cream side right here i feel like it's looking a little heavy like right over here and then we have the foundation side right over here you guys can see i definitely feel like the cc cream side has a little bit more coverage but i'll show you guys I don't know it's kind of a tie both look really really good as of right now we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day but yeah we'll see as the day progresses guys i will be back in for you guys a few seconds for me a few hours everyone so welcome back um it is currently 7 48 p.m so i have had this foundation on since 12 30 it was the second time lipstick obviously it did fade off um i think i'm going to take my makeup off now just because again i really didn't do much today so i feel like right now i don't look oily on either side so i'm going to zoom in really close to you guys show you guys what it looks like but right now i feel like i don't look oily i feel like it looks really good on both sides i feel like it didn't rub off especially because i was blowing my nose because of allergies it didn't really rub off that much on my nose i feel like i have other foundations that definitely rub off uh more um as far as sticking to like dry patches i feel like on the cc cream side it did stick to some of the dry patches on my nose and then on the foundation side it did it did stick a little bit to like dry patches like right over here that i have and it did come off a little bit um, more on the foundation side than like the CC cream side as far as around my nose like right in this area other than that like it didn't really come off my on my chin I feel like the color kind of matched I mean I asked my mom um what she thought and she said definitely the foundation side matched me a lot better because as far as the CC cream side it definitely was a little bit too dark for me but I made it work as always uh but my final thoughts and impressions I definitely feel like I like the foundation foundation side a little bit more I feel like it looks more natural on the side meaning there isn't as much cakiness on the foundation side I still feel like on the CC cream side that it does look very heavy it doesn't feel heavy I mean it feels the same on both sides it just the CC cream side definitely does look a little bit heavier looks a little bit more cakier I feel like it looks like I'm wearing more foundation on the CC cream side which I'm super surprised about because I thought the foundation side was going to look that way I thought the foundation was going to look really heavy other than that um i feel like it looks really good i definitely still love the cc cream i feel like the foundation kind of just gave me more of like a natural finish versus the cc cream again just looks a little bit heavier so it kind of just depends on what sort of look you're going for i'm still gonna reach for the cc cream during the summer but both are really good options both kept me really really matte all day you guys can see i am not shiny at all even in these studio lights like it looks really really good so i definitely uh feel like i like the foundation a little bit more i feel like it just looks a little bit better on the skin it looks very natural doesn't look very cakey this a little too cakey for me but of course still gonna use both still do love both still looks really really good so if you guys do want a comparison with the oil-free matte uh, foundation versus the regular foundation let me know I will definitely do that for you guys as always but I hope that you guys did enjoy this little video please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you go so you can be part of the ATFB fam ATFB all things fashion and beauty and hit the post notification bell so you can get notified of all my future uploads I usually do upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday 3 p.m. EST but that is it guys I hope that you guys enjoyed please stay safe um, and I will see you guys in a few days in my next video. Bye!